in lane two, Atlanta. Lane three, Masters Coaching. Lane four, Minneapolis. Lane five, Minneapolis. Lane six, Avalon. Lane seven, YMCA Rock River. And in lane eight, Sagatuck. And a good point regarding lane six, we have Grace and we have also Sunny McLean. She was one of the young ladies, octogenarian, who was celebrated yesterday. So it's a treat to have her competing here and wishing her a wonderful race as we conclude the 2020 Sarasota Masters National Championships. What a great way to end the entire regatta. Hopefully we do not have a scratch. It appears that we might have one boat missing, but maybe they have not come up to the stake boat yet. So it appears that lane seven has not shown up. That would be YMCA Rock River. Almost all of the boats are in alignment. And we do have multiple boat classes or multiple categories within this boat class for this last event. So there will be multiple gold medals awarded, which is always wonderful. So they're trying to gain alignment for this race. All right, get a good vantage point as we see one of the crews there. <laughs> It appears in lane six. They're just trying to get their point there. So that's Miss Grace and Miss Sunny McLean. They're going to get that point. They're going to get it one day. They're going to get it soon. I love the name of their boat, Dreamy. <laughs> So it appears that lane six was having a little difficulty becoming attached to the stakeholder. So they've decided to move over to another stakeholder since there was a scratch in lane seven. So Avalon, which was in lane six, will now be in lane seven since there was a scratch by YMCA Rock River. All right, so we just a few more moments and we will have alignment and we will be underway. We had a little bit of a mishap there as they were trying to hold a stakeholder lost the grip. All right, we're almost aligned. A little bit of difficulty. Appears that they can just pull them on the outside. Yeah, having a little bit of challenge. I wonder if the wind is, re is causing a little bit of difficulty for the ladies as they're preparing for the start of this race.
It's great to see fans that are lining on the beach to support the ladies once this race is underway. So if you have the ability, if you're not de-rigging, please come on down to the beach and cheer the ladies on. This will be our last race of the entire regatta as the 2022 Masters National Championships will be concluded. And I can speak for myself that I've truly enjoyed these championships and seeing people who I've not seen since last year and enjoying the performances. And we've been fortunate enough to have some weather that has cooperated uh, for the most part, only that one delay. And there have been times where I've been at this venue before and there's been quite a few weather delays. <laughs> so <laughs> we've been very fortunate and being treated to some outstanding races on the water. So hopefully once we have alignment and everyone is attached, we'll be underway and be able to cheer the ladies on as they give maximum effort down the course. So it appears that we have alignment. We were having a little bit of difficulty earlier, but we have the flag up, and hopefully we will be underway in just a moment. And we are underway for our last race. There has been a little bit of a lane change here, so Avalon will be in lane seven since there was a scratch, so there will be no one in lane six. And it appears that we are having a little bit of steering difficulty here. Hopefully they will be able to, and that is lane uh, five, looks like that is Minneapolis, that is pushing out to a early lead, followed by oh, yeah, no, no. Minneapolis in lane four with Pezik and Brooks. And they were mentioning yesterday that Ms. Pezik, her son is Tom Pezik, who is a multiple world championship medalist as well as a 2012 Olympian in the men's fair. And as we are pushing further in, it appears that the two Minneapolis crews have taken a very commanding lead over the rest of the field. And it looks like we have over in lane one, the great performer, Miss Pinkerton, <laughs> and Flowers, the crew of Pinkerton and Flowers from SAC are in third place at the moment followed closely by Atlanta in lane two. So hopefully we'll get a good vantage point. But this is a beautiful shot showing that nice flow that the Minneapolis crew has as they're going down the course. And here we go. And we're getting to see that Minneapolis colors of their uniforms coming closer and closer as those two crews are coming further and further down the track, progressing towards the 500 meter mark with only 500 to go. All right. And it appears that Minneapolis is continuing to extend their lead, followed closely by the Minneapolis crew, followed closely by in lane one, 
from uh, SAC, and then in lane two, Atlanta in fourth place. And I have a suspicion that because there are multiple uh, age categories, that there may be gold medals awarded amongst uh, these four that are the four leaders. But lane four and lane five from Minneapolis are making sure that they are clearly out in front. And it appears that they will win by open water as we are coming past the 500 meter mark soon to be coming into the last 250 meters. This is gonna be a great finish for these ladies. Keeping that stroke rate up. They are doing a wonderful job pushing away. I'm interested to see how the other crews are shaping up that are in to the 200 and almost approaching the last 500 meter mark. See over in lane eight, Sagatuck, they're doing quite well being able to push forward. And I would love to see how Avalon is doing over in lane seven as well. As lane one, SAC and lane two, Atlanta are making a strong bid. And it appears that SAC might have pulled back a little bit of ground on the second Minneapolis crew. And as we approach through the red buoys, with only about 100 meters remaining, Minneapolis in lane five is ensuring that they will have the gold medal. And in lane four for Minneapolis, they are also making a very strong bid and push and Pinkerton and Flowers in lane one are really driving with the legs. You can see that really pronounced finish as she is really trying to accelerate the blade through the water. Wonderful, wonderful effort. But these two Minneapolis crews are showing their dominance in the women's G through K double skulls final. With two strokes remaining, Minneapolis has secured their gold medal. Coming up will be the second crew from Minneapolis. And coming across the line in third is Pinkerton and Flowers for SAC, followed by Atlanta, doing a great job. And then we have the three remaining crews that are still here. And it looks like out in lane eight from Sagatuck, Moody and Mandel are doing wonderful. And also, Avalon and Lane 7 are doing absolutely a fantastic job. The crew of Grace and Sunny. Looks like the Ducks are trying to get in on this race, but they better watch out because coming in fast is the Avalon crew, so they might want to move because here they come. <laughs> All right. And in Lane 3, the Ducks are not moving fast enough. They're going to get clipped. <laughs> but over here in Lane Three is Masters Coaching across the line, followed by Sagatuck in lane eight, and in lane seven, Avalon. Almost done, one more, a few more strokes, and we are across the line. Great job, ladies. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening or being in attendance at this year's edition of Masters Nationals in Sarasota 2022. I am Napoleon Griffin, and I will be signing off. Thank you.